research is in the area of soft condensed matter. And actually, this is everything um, around us from surfactants, uh, gels, and foams in the bathroom to famous colloids like coffee, milk, and mayonnaise in the kitchen. And actually, the paper on the table, uh, ordinary paper, is also soft condensed matter. And actually, soft condensed matter was born as part of theoretical physics only recently, about 30 years ago. And I think, well, and it's very fascinating field. is an interface of chemistry and biology with physics and mathematics, and this is not really well understood. And even how to describe these systems uh, is not well known. The aim of my research in particular is to, um, is to study instabilities in these complex systems composed of millions of molecules. And I, I try to understand and be able to predict uh, the collective behavior of this system. Liquid crystals are rod-like molecules whose chemical structure encourages them to collectively align. How well this works depends on variables in the environment, for example temperature and magnetic fields. Liquid crystal have different phases. The transition between them depends on these environmental variables. In the so-called pneumatic phase, pneumatic is Greek for thread, molecules are locally aligned but still free to move around, and the orientation might change over long distances. To make molecule orientations visible, one uses polarized light on a thin film of liquid crystals on some type of substrate and a polarization filter to take the image. The liquid crystal molecules change the polarization of the light depending on the molecule's orientation, so different light intensities become a measure for the orientation of the molecules. A lot of researchers are presently involved in experiments with the synthesis of novel molecules which are the building blocks for engineering nanomaterials. However, from the physical point of view, these materials are not well understood and we are far from being able to predict their stability, size and shape. There are many open questions in the research area of soft condensed matter. For example, there's the question of how millions of molecules spontaneously assemble to form structures. Technology is driven by some miniaturization, so people try to make smaller and smaller devices and therefore uh, knowledge of how very thin pneumatic films, uh, liquid crystal film behaves, is very crucial to understand the role of interfaces and, um, and therefore I study instabilities in the system. Nardita actually is a very particular place, I think, in respect of postdoctoral position. It gives me additional freedom to, to do my research compared to other places. But also people are, in Nardita are very friendly and um, uh, supportive. If I have some problems, some question in physics, I could actually drop by this and ask, and people would be happy to discuss. This is a very nice environment, I think.